Okay, so I actually got this information from the tuner himself. We are putting the downpipe on before we tune. So I had an idea. I'm thinking we should just tape my phone to the back of my car to get some exhaust clips like this. Look at that. The case even does some good justice on holding the phone right there, but I'm thinking I'm gonna tape the phone to my car to get some content for TikTok and Instagram. It seems like I don't get enough of my exhaust clips, and what I really wanna do right now is looking over here, we got the J-pipe coming soon. Uh, the pre dyno tune inspection is the 21st, and I believe that's Thursday or Friday we'll be heading out to do the, the pre dyno tune inspection. So we're coming up on this, but I want to make a lot of content and get a lot of the exhaust clips before we install this because I really want you to understand and hear uh, what the car sounds like with a stock J pipe to a cat back exhaust. And then you can kind of get the gist of if you want to go fully catless. I'm going to be getting with Johnny, which has the, the other Subaru just like mine, WRX, but he's got the catted Cobb J pipe. So I'm really just getting a bunch of clips of exhaust sounds for you guys because I feel like it's gonna help you and decide on which route you want to go. Like I said, we're gonna tape my phone to the back of my car and then we can get some exhaust clips, which is gonna be super dope because why, why wouldn't we want to do this? Ow. All right, so I don't really want to use duct tape because it's gonna leave residue, but I don't know, there's always, there's always ways around that. I can always wipe it off, like it's no big deal. We're just making YouTube videos and this is what you kind of have to do won't sometimes. Won't it hurt the paint? Huh? Won't it hurt the paint? Yeah. Possibly could. <laughs> Perfect. What up, bro? <laughs> Honestly, we probably won't need yet maybe three strips and it'll be good. Honestly, that's probably good. We just don't want it on there too long. See, it's coming off. It's just if it gets hot, it's going to have a problem with sticking. If my phone dies, my phone dies. You know, we'll just figure out a new one. We run into a problem, we'll fix it. If there's a leftover residue on my car, we'll just fix it. It's not a problem. <laughs> it's kind of what's dope about, you know, being able to modify cars is like, you really learn how to work around things and make them work. It's like, it's like we're personal engineers. All right, <laughs> I just don't want to cover the microphone. Look, you can touch it to the duct tape. No way. Hi. Okay, good job. Officially duct taped my phone to the back of my bumper and it's gonna be super sick because I'm gonna be able to get some audio of the stock J pipe with the Tomei catback exhaust, what it sounds like. Ding, ding. Yeah. All right, let's do this, fam. Which means pre dyno tune inspection, guys. I'm running super late, I'm running way behind, but that's okay because you know what? I was like, we gotta stop, start the video. I can never make it on time. I don't know why I struggle with it, but I also can't even remember to grab my keys when I'm ready to go drive my car. I'm gonna head up the street, I'm gonna meet with Kirk. Uh, he's gonna come with us today. We're gonna head out to Salt Lake, pre dyno tune inspection. Let's go, guys. We got a lot of filming to do today, so let's just head out, waste no more time. Pre dyno tune inspection. Whew. Boys, we are just getting closer and closer for this to be installed on the car, guys. Full catless J-pipe. I cannot wait. We're getting so close to the day we can put it on. Whew. Hang in there, boys, because if I have to suffer through this, you gotta suffer through this, because I wanna hear it just as much as y'all do, you know what I'm saying? Let's head out, go get this pre dyno tune inspection complete so we can jump on the dyno. Cannot wait for the day, let's go. Guys, today is about 80 degrees, which is so nice because we have been dealing with like 100 degree plus weather, which has just been such a struggle, especially on the cars. Super nice to have a little bit cooler day, overcast, it's feeling good. So the reason for a pre dyno tune is, basically I'm gonna go to the shop, they're gonna look over my car, are. They're gonna send a smoke test through my system You basically hook the smoke machine up to the air intake and blow smoke through your air system to make sure you have no air leaks As soon as they do find them usually turbo inlets go bad or the couplers for your intercooler either way They just want to make sure your car is healthy to jump on to the dyno tuner itself You have to have it done every six months and I haven't been tuned for about a year now So this is going to be just like a little quick update uh, Make sure everything looks good is running good and then we'll be able to schedule a dyno tune and jump on the dyno and I cannot wait for that. I know you guys are all dying just as much as I am. Hold on. All 
I cannot wait to have more pops. As you already know, we are going for the pop tune. And as soon as the pop tune happens, oh dude, endless content for days. Honestly, cannot wait for this day. It's about to be lit. It's about to be gas. It's feeling all good and the window's down, yeah. What the hell? Yo, I can see Kirk right there. I think he sees me at the gas station. We gotta get some fuel real fast. I think he's just gonna walk over here. That's lit. I pulled up here and this lady was driving slow right in front of me. So I just ripped it past her pulling up to the gas station and now she's just looking at me. What? I don't know, dude. She's big capping. Yo, what up? I was like, Kirk's over there, he's walking up. What up, bro? Oh, damn, kick's looking fresh, bro. Look what this says. What? Flash prog erase. I guess this gas pump ain't working, so we're gonna back up to this one. Kirk says, try it anyways, you might get some gas. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? 2.7, that's pretty good. Yeah. You agree? Got, uh, it's Smith, I just got it for 269. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, we're going over here. Well, dude, it's weird how different locations cost more. Yeah, um, I've noticed 91 next to the freeway. Yeah. It's expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, that makes sense right off the freeway. Yo, quick stop to get some goodies. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> That's lit, man. Oh, no way. Bro, I love parking here. The Subi looks so sick. The Subi parking? The Subi parking. <laughs> See the sign right there. 599, you can join. <laughs> Bro, well, we just got to simple performance and we are walking right out. I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. We just got somewhere though, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. We just got somewhere. We needed to learn all that. Oh, Holy crap. We just left school. <laughs> Dude, well, that really felt we, like school. We each got a little notepad. Oh my God, I stole their whole pad. Oh. <laughs> oh, should I go get it back? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <He's still> <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so long, this is crazy, 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 guys. We are not doing the pre dino tune inspection today. I know it sucks, but here's the reason why. They want the downpipe on before I tune, and we just literally had an hour and a half conversation with my tuner, and I learned so much, guys. I have so much to tell you, and whether you know this information or not, I cannot wait to explain it all to you guys, but let's just say we are putting the downpipe on probably today or tomorrow. And Kurt got his build line out. Bro, that means we could put the downpipe on like today or dude, soon. I, dude, that's what I'm saying. Let's bro, go put it on right now. Let's go put it on. <laughs> I want to hear that shit, dude, bro. Dude, me too. It's going to scream and you're going to have so much turbo whistle. I know, bro. Okay, so I actually got this information from the tuner himself. We are putting the downpipe on before we tune. It's just happening. <laughs> okay? I don't know how else to tell you. It's just happening. Well... He, he also said no romp in it though, like at all. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna limp it around for sure, but we can put the pipe on. It's not gonna affect anything with the tune that I have. I got my whole build list for <laughs> a good while. That's the whole build list? No, kidding. that's not the whole build list, but that's kidding. the next like moves that we need to do. That's the next step, the yeah. next stages. This is the next stage. It's gonna benefit us the most, and I honestly cannot wait to start working on it, and the water meth. Is that'll going be, to be that'll be cool. crazy. That's good because I was wondering um, what ways there were to uh, clean the carbon buildup. So True. That's pretty awesome. The water meth and True. the ERG. Yeah. There yeah. we go. So either way, I'm gonna make us. I'll probably make this video tomorrow. But I'm just gonna deeply explain everything that I learned, and then also Kirk. What did you end up coming out? Oh. With? So I'm gonna be running some E85, and I guess with uh, my fuel pump that I have, if you, I need a little bit bigger one, and if you go bigger than eight to 10 amps, you can fry the connector cord or whatever. So I have to buy some some thick wire, I don't know, just so it don't burn through. Yeah, and, and it's kind of crazy how we install it. He basically showed us how to install it, everything, and explained it all. Um, it's kind of cool how we do it. As soon as we get the kit, we'll, you know, we'll just make videos. And... Fairly easy, I think. Fairly easy. The only thing is, is where did it tap into the electrical? Was that for, to the stock to the stock wiring? Yeah, I just I oh. guess I just, yeah, which would Bro, be easy. So just cut easy. the old wires. Yeah, and we'll just splice connect, it in. Yep. Connect and dude, the new ones. We know a motherfucking electrician, yes, bro. We, yeah, we got the electrician. We got on the deck. electrician. I'll be like, on and deck. you know, I don't fuck with electricity, even at my job. So we definitely call him Stone. <laughs> my brother, <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my brother does electrical work, so he's good at that. And there we go. That's all we need. Yep. That. Dude, <laughs> the the, the meth injection is gonna be something else, bro. That's cool. I can't wait.